about five minutes late. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Dunclos from the administrative board called. She wants to get a list of the budget cuts. We have a meeting in 20 minutes with John Rader and um, some drug rep from Boston Pharmaceuticals is waiting in your office. Andy something. Is a drug rep in there? Mm -hmm. Okay, look, in three minutes, pop your head in and tell me I have to go to my next meeting, all right? Sorry, I'm gonna make this really quick. I got a very busy morning. I understand, Nurse Fokker. I'm Andy Garcia. Oh, hi. You have a lot less stubble in person. <laughs> I'm, I, there's an actor named Andy Garcia. Who? Widow's Peak, sort of a tough guy. I was just kidding. Of course I know who Andy Garcia is. <laughs> I get that all the time. Yeah, you must get it all the time because you're named Andy Garcia. I loved the article you wrote in the AMA journal, Putting Patients First. You read that? I loved it. It was so cool getting a nurse's perspective on the healthcare crisis. Yeah, that was that was the idea. I actually started out as a nurse myself. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, well nowadays I do less nursing and more... Annoying uh... meetings with drug reps you'd rather not deal with. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Greg, it's time for your next meeting. That's okay, I'm fine, Kristen. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, but he doesn't like to wait. You know how he is, you know. Well, it's John Rader? Yeah, he, he's, he's really... He always runs late. Always runs late. Thanks. You're swamped. No, I'm good. You want to have a seat? Yeah. I'll make this quick. So we are launching a killer new product at Boston, and while we usually hire doctors to lead our presentations, I have a feeling about you. I think you have the potential to be a medical superstar, and you'd be perfect to represent our new drug, Sustango. Ah, Sustango, all right. It's uh, an erectile dysfunction medicine. It's not just any erectile dysfunction medicine. It's the first ED pill on the market safe for heart patients. Because in addition to increasing the penile blood flow, mm -hmm. see that penis? Mm -hmm. It acts as a beta blocker to keep the heart rate down during intercourse. I mean, how dope is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty dope. Nurse Falker needed in room 220. I'm sorry. Hang on a second. Well, you get out of my ass. If you would stop squirming around, but this could have been over, sir. You don't know what you're It could have been hey, over, hey, sir. Hey, how you doing there, Mr. Androsky? Everything OK? Well, this nurse is a barbarian. OK, I'm not a barbarian. He keeps clinching. I can't it's, make an insertion. Lewis, it's, it's a sorry. natural response to protect that cavity. You're right. It is a natural response. I would protect my cavity, too. And we just got to do it a little bit gentler. May I suggest something? Sir, why don't you extend your left leg and put your right knee right up to your chest? It'll help relax things down there. She's right. You just do that and you just uh, grab the side of the bed there like that and exhale. Go. Nurse, did you sufficiently lubricate the nozzle? I did do that. Great. Good, good. Okay, you got this? Yep. All right, take a nice deep breath. And focus mm -hmm. on relaxing your anus. Right, that's right. You just want to let it dilate so it's like a flower opening up. Blossoming lotus. It's a little like a desert cactus. Maturing. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's well, okay. Just a little friendly visitor. Just saying hello. All right, I'm just gonna stick it in a little further. Oh. Good, smooth insertion. Thank you. I'm gonna release the clamp. Let it flow. Ah, better. How's that? It's great. 